Hey everyone. So one thing that is tough to do in clay.com is to build a really large list of local businesses from Google map scraping, just because they want you to enter some of the data first, and then you have to completely rerun it and you can't programmatically run it across, you know, lots and lots of different locations. And so I built this template here where it takes in all of the locations that uh, are actually available on LinkedIn as well. This is over 2000 locations available on LinkedIn. There's other ways you could do this. You could ask ChatGPT for cities and things like that too and everything. And uh, we actually integrated it with the serper.dev um, API and it's the places API. And then this is the Google Maps API. So you can pick which one that you like. Super.dev, serper.dev is a super, super cheap website where you can do uh, Google scraping. And so this is it right here. Ridiculously cheap Google scraping. Errol Toker told me about this one and it's absolutely fantastic. And so then uh, what you can do is you can run your Google search APIs uh, over here and then you'll, you know, pull out the results of the people. And so basically what we have going on here is we have the location and then we can change this box here for what restaurant, we, well, for what we want to search. So like we have to do a search for revenue cycle management companies uh, pretty soon across the United States. So now this is all going to change. And then uh, we currently have this table pause, so we don't run all of them without being completely set, but we could just run it right now. It would be completely set because then the Google input is literally the area that we want. And then we're looking for revenue cycle management. And then we would be running our um, places uh, SERP API here. Now, you might be wondering what these numbers are for. You need to be able to paginate the SERPer uh, pages. You could do it. I mean, again, I'm not a developer. If anybody calls me out and they're like, oh, there's a much better way to do it, let me know because I couldn't figure it out. You could batch create these things and you could put like page one, page two, page three, page four. But then in Clay, it was getting too big and there was just this mess and everything. And so we just did it with one. And then when you create another one, you create it with two. And then you get different results because you're paginating through the Google Places API or the Google Maps API, whichever one you want to use. And then you can just write these to a table and then just uh, get all the information from them. And so instead of manually hitting the Google uh, Maps integration in Clay right here, right? Instead of using this, if you're not familiar, you'd be able to just run this at scale. So in kind of, this is kind of a short video, so I'm just gonna wrap it all up. We have all these locations over here and I can give away all these locations if you want. Then in this, I can give this template away too. Then right here, you would just literally change what type of business you wanna search. So you could also search for like pest control companies or whatever you wanna do. Then that changes this input. And then all I have to do is just duplicate these columns and we'll get you know all of the, outputs that anything works for the Google places in that location. And then you'd be able to scrape Google maps at scale. So if you needed to find any of those local businesses that don't have a LinkedIn presence, this would be the way to do it.